Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, this is the next video tutorial of a shopping cart project and in this video tutorial I have already seen about uh, all products that is the index method we have seen in a web browser when we render or you can say any request uh, hooks on your uh, page and the server that all products will uh, rendered uh, in the form of the table and uh, you can say that that is a jQuery table and uh, in the table we have a create update method also for the edit and the create also mm, and uh, in the table we have a name description price and category name and also we have a delete button so uh, you can see uh, in the web browser so let's get started uh, to play your uh, web project and uh, see the outputs on your uh, on your web browser so just navigate uh, the request that is the product and index but uh, the product and index is actually inside in the admin folder or oh, sorry admin area so you can see uh, there is the admin area so just navigate the correct URL so just going to the URL uh, just uh, you can add few line a few line of code into your layout.cshtml file to navigate your uh, URL and uh, that uh, that thing is to add that is ASP area, ASP action and ASP controller uh, to navigate on your desired URL like uh, ad, uh, the ASP area is admin and ASP action is index okay so just uh, go to the products detail okay ASP controller okay just save this and uh, let's see the output uh, just after that a uh, few line of code you have to seen uh, just go to the products and you will see the product list oops there is the category list actually so just uh, change the controller name uh, in the layout.cshtml file uh, here you can see so just change with the product and uh, just save this and the whole reload feature will be uh, used so here we have a product name, product description, price, category and actions will we'll follow and when we click on the edit button just uh, call the create update method that is there create update method we have a um, id as a parameter list and we have a product vm inside the product vm we have a product that is the single product and a list of products and also a list of uh, select list item categories okay and uh, in the product vm first of all initialize your product with the newly created uh, object and the categories also so categories we have uh, just retrieved from the database by using the unit of work and categories dot get all select and initialize all these category into the select list item so just you can use a uh, text equals to x dot name a value equals to x dot id and if id is null in the parameter then just go to the view section and there is the create view section you can say because uh, here we use create and edit both are used the same CSHTML file so here we have a CSHTML file for both create and update uh, methods so here we have a just copy and paste and just change the model name that is the myapp.model.viewmodel product vm but uh, here we have a the name of the project is shopping cart and the um, view model is actually exist in the data access layer so just you can change the uh, name that is data access layer dot view models dot uh, product vm and here you can see that the hidden uh, two properties are hidden that is product id and image url in the later session i will uh, cover both these properties why we use it here and uh, here you can see that n, uh, nc type that is the multi part uh, for the image upload and ASP action is that a create update and method is the post okay the next thing is the image um, for creating and also we have a create update uh, logics and uh, here we have a file for image file and price description and the name also created and you can see that the category also uh, in the form of the select list model dot categories just bind with the ASP items and uh, the first item that is disabled that is the select category and the model dot product is null and the model model dot product id is zero 
then we just go to the create section and here we have a validation if the empty if the file is empty then uh, alert uh, in the form of in alert that is called sweet alert methods so in the in the separate video i will cover the sweet alert uh, how to use sweet alert uh, methods in esp.net core so <coughs> just let's get started sweet alert and how to use sweet alert actually so just go to the sweet alert 2.github.io and here you can see that the code uh, just click on the try me button and uh, you will see that uh, the output so just copy that code and paste it here if the image file upload is uh, uh, empty and zero then that uh, sweet alert will be fired okay so uh, on the button we have to validate okay so uh, how to use this sweet alert to uh, actually there we have a JS, uh, js file so just go to the installation part and uh, just copy that script file and paste into your layout.cshtml file here you can see a layout.cshtml file and just paste uh, just inside the footer section and uh, here uh, okay here it is so just copy that cdn.js uh, jsdlayer.net npm <coughs> okay and so let's get started to play your project after that uh, use this suite alert and uh, here you can see that uh, the first of all the image file upload uh, and validations is occurred if image is empty then uh, is pop-up button will be upload uh, shown after clicking on the uh, create button okay you can see that the output so uh, shopping cart project is actually a simple project you can do in your asp.net core and later version i will complete all these projects which is remaining in the um, videos so just create a new product and here you can see that the name description and uh, oops button upload image and the name is description and the price and the image url is displayed image okay and image if uh, is uploaded then there is a not empty image just you can see that there is some error messages that is required okay and after that you can see uh, there is the button but uh, here you can see that the tiny mce uh, uh, editor is also there in the page you can see first of all rearrange your uh, control K and D and here you can say that teeny MCE uh, text area uh, just converted into the text editor WI swing editor so uh, just uh, type your uh, teeny MCE in your Google and your search engine and the first URL just open it and you can see that the tiny mce editor and just click on the button get started and work email is there and after that login you will see that the api key and the how to use your tiny mce editor because the js file is required to uh, use it and there is So after uh, login into your system, just reset your password if it is not logged in. And after reset your password, you have to um, log into the system and just copy your script file. And after that, you will see the out. Uh, uh, oops, what's going on? And uh, also the change the passwords. Okay, that's fine. okay uh, here your tiny api key is there so just first of all uh, just copy that script file and here we have a plugin uh, and there and that um, just after that script file that script file first of all uh, add your uh, footer section into your layout.cshtml file after that we uh, have to use your script file inside your header section of your file <coughs> so 
and just copy that for uh, copy that URL and just play your uh, your output so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to shopping cart projects if you want to create it into your uh, similar projects so that's it